Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I'd like to start off by thanking you for your continued support. There are now over 160 subscribers to my channel at the moment that I'm filming this. Thank you so much. I will continue making better videos in the future, so stay tuned. Today, I'll show you one of the best custom ROMs for the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S6. The Gold Eagle code MRA. It's cooked on a new base with the June security patches and also all the Google and Samsung apps have been updated to the latest version. This latest version features one new application as well, the resolution changer. I'll talk about it more later in the video. Of course, as with most custom ROMs, you need to have the latest DWRP recovery installed. To install the ROM, reboot into recovery just like I did right now. Select wipe, then advanced wipe. And here you should now wipe Dalvik slash art cache, cache, system and data. Be careful not to wipe the internal storage, otherwise the zip file will also be deleted. After wiping all these partitions, you are ready to install the ROM. Choose install, select the zip file and swipe to confirm flash. In a couple of moments the aroma installer will launch. Here we have the ROM changelog, we have the new base, the updated apps and the resolution changer, plus the previous changelogs as well. You have to agree with this and click next. You have some additional ROM info here, along with the date of release. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the developer and the contributors as well. Continue by pressing next and clean install. I suggest you to make a clean installation even if you had previous version and you're just updating. Now select the model that you have. I have the international flat Galaxy S6. So I've selected the SMG 920F. Now click next. You can now customize the device the way you want it. So you can choose your emojis, select your modded launcher. I have chosen the S8 launcher. It works just fine. I haven't installed the Opera Max. I'm more of a Chrome person myself. Always on display and add away. Now you can choose to install SuperSU or Magisk. I usually use SuperSU. And of course your CSC, I usually go with the international BTU version. And right now you get some more customizations such as where you want the clock to be positioned on the status bar, on the lock screen, the weather app, the camera app as well. I've chosen the S8 one because it's very well optimized. And last but not least, you can select the bloatware that you want here. So you have a lot of Samsung apps to choose from, if not all. Just take a close look and choose whatever options fit your needs. By clicking next, you go forward with the installation. I've already done that. After the installation, make sure you wipe cache and Dalvik by swiping here. This is a necessary procedure in order to avoid soft boot loops or so. First boot can take 10 to 20 minutes, so be patient. The phone has booted up. I've installed all the S8 mods and the general feeling of the ROM is very good. These mods really turn the device into an S8, 
software wise at least so you have the new app drawer you have a really nice and battery optimized notification bar here that you can customize the way you want I've already installed the usual array of benchmarking software just take note that the higher scores do not necessarily translate into a smoother device operation but it's still one way of measuring the device performance so we have a score of almost 70,000 in Antutu benchmark and in Geekbench CPU we have the scores displayed here and in compute a score of almost 3000 the battery life is better than on stock nougat from what i have seen so far partly because all the bloatware is now removed also there's more free space as well something really important when we talk about the device with no expandable storage so we have around 21 gigabytes of free memory but take note i also have the zip file on the internal memory so you have actually more than that as customizations other than the normal settings that you have here there's a griffin control app that you can use in system ui control you can choose to display the data used in real time and you can customize it the way you want to in framework control you have some options as well for the power menu long press to kill apps in apps and this is the most interesting part in my view we have add away a really great software which disables ads throughout the system super su of course the third app is really nice round corners you can actually turn the display into an s8 like amoled display with rounded corners so i'll Try and zoom in right now so I can show you. The corners are rounded. And we also have the resolution changer. This one is really interesting as well. So you can choose the resolution that you want with this slider here, or you can go through the advanced menu and make some custom resolutions as well or the simplest method is to go to presets and choose on the S7 you have three resolutions you can choose from this option wasn't offered on the S6 as well that's why the resolution changer app is really interesting so on the S7 you have three options for the AMOLED resolution you have the full 2K resolution, the 1080p resolution, and the 720p variant. Right here you can see that there is no such option. Overall the ROM is lightning fast, all the apps open up very quickly, and the multitasking performance is very good too. If you still use the S6 as your main phone, you should definitely go for this latest Gold Eagle ROM version. It will really turn the device into an S8 without a few features, that's true, but you won't need to spend anything extra for it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you liked it, please do press the like button. And if you'd like to stay tuned to my content, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed in the bottom left corner. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. 
Thank you once again for your support. I wish you a great day. This was Mike. Until next time. Bye.